So let us not forget, if you are in that proximity of an individual that is being abused, whether it's a man or a woman, it is, uh, or children, it is really nice and it will save them a lot as a person, as an, as an emotional person, if you intervene on their behalf. Like maybe you call, I mean, we might say like Nigerian police are not this and all that, but at least if they are aware and this lady or this family know that people are watching them, like when you put public pressure on people, they are, maybe they are likely to review and change their ways because they know that out of shame or embarrassment, they might change, but don't don't be hard and don't be judgeful and don't just watch and be a bystander to that kind of situation. It doesn't serve anyone. And remember, if you save a person, it's like you save the entire world. So why not save the entire world by like intervening? And even as a means that you have intervened, you have served them in a lot more than any like if you intervene you probably serve them a lot more than anybody have done for them so it's so it's not a matter of like where does this kind of thing happen it can it can be happen like right next door like beside you and you know people are intelligent honestly people are intelligent and they hide so well, they hide their pain. It's just like how you and I had hide our own pain. I mean, like I'm going through some things right now. I'm not showing it, even if it's my show, like on the screen. But like, I'm leaving. But and you have to make sure that you let them recognize their power. Let them recognize that you are there for them. You know. And you know, it's so sad how like we can say that um, government, government is government that. But you know, we can say that and keep saying it for the next hundred years and still there won't be any change. I mean, like I, I wouldn't pray that in the next hundred years, like Nigeria will still be this destitute kind of country. And even though if they give so some kind of kudos to Nigerians. Oh, you're leading Africa. You're doing this. I'm like, hmm. I think people are bothering us. I mean, like, are we really coming? Because Ghana, they say, they have like twenty four hour um electricity, and Nigeria is like generator everywhere. It's plants. It's everywhere. It's generator and the noise, the noise pollution, man. <laughs> But honestly, that's beside the point. I wanted to structure the video. I wanted to do the five W and how the five W questions and how. And I was like, and I was writing my notes, and I was like, ah, it's better if I just come and say so that it doesn't look so scripted, because then I'm speaking out of just right away. So it's not, honestly, it's not a laughing matter. It's not a situation that I ever want to find myself. And I'd be like this kind of person that'd be like, you know, I'm going. <laughs> I like myself <laughs> better when I'm like, like, you know, it's enjoying your solitude. It's enjoying your time by yourself. And if someone is going to make that seems like it's the worst thing you can do to yourself or they're going to make you feel more alone than when you are actually alone, there is something wrong. So please, please do not be a bystander. Do not be a bystander. You know, this woman, she probably have so shown a lot of signs and symptoms that people missed. They probably like just check it off as maybe she was feeling some kind of headache, you know, maybe she's at church service, like socializing with everyone, laughing with everyone. And you know, you don't notice that their pitch of sound, like maybe if you're a body language specialist kind of guy, you can even talk see this kind of discrepancies and how people react depending on their emotional um 
emotional standings. And I know that there are so many people, there are so many people out there, like especially, you know, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not married, so I'm just saying this as a, as a person, as a young individual, and from what I've heard, what I've read, what I've learned, what I've seen, and true in many, in many studies that I've read and researched, you know. Like I'm saying this as a person, I don't have an experience, I, I don't have a marital experience, so I'm just saying this as, so be everything. So I, we all need to take care of ourselves. You, you, you come first and you know, I, it's, I'm not in this situation and I, so I can't say so much about it. Because I'm not an expert. I mean, I can I, I can read read countless of studies, see countless of examples. You know, maybe in some ways, like I have felt when being insulted, or I have felt when being disrespected, but not to this extent. But how do you define extent? Because, you know, honestly, this kind of thing, they still it starts by small stuff, something, some things happen, say, oh, sorry, blah, blah, blah. It starts small, and then one day, just whoosh, and then it comes out. There is no balance. There is no regular, there is no regularity in this kind of scenario. There's always, like, this surge of emotion, and then whoosh. Another surge of emotion and then which like another surge of emotion and actions. To the to the fact that you're even confusing people around you, confusing the children, confusing the wife or the husband, or like what is going on. So as a woman and as a girl, as a I don't know what to say, if you if you seen that this kind of situation going on, don't be a bystander. You can call 911, you can talk to someone, you can talk to someone about them on the person's behalf. You can maybe take it to their family. And you know, it's so weird how like some families actually perpetrate this. You know, you have to, some family that be like, oh, this this guy is so nice to her, his, his wife, he's not, he's charming, his wife is always boosting about him, blah, blah, and then they feel like they have to disrupt something, and they start to create chaos in the family. Seriously, who are you? And there's also this notion that all oh, the abuse is instigated by the victim, like really? Is it really instigated by the victim or the person doing this victimization can't control their anger or can't control their strength or their power? It's all like I said before. It's always the power imbalance and the fact that like the society kind of group women into this box of like oh they are so soft, they're not. Because we have seen we have seen women that beat up with men too, and in, not in an entertaining way, but in a violent, in a violent way. So keep that in mind, and please do not be a bystander watching this thing reveal to it reveal itself up to the fact that someone end up losing their life and then now this victim is now I mean like with the skit from Maria Mapalka Yengwe Tao like with her skit anyway this girl will now feel even worse because of this thing that because she took an action and the action lead to maybe the person lost his life imagine and then they are putting this like double jeopardy, double trauma of like being a battered woman and being like they've been convicted if they are convicted. So it's 
I mean, like, it's really, it's really good if you, if people intervene before this kind of scenarios play out. Them saying like, no one person get hurt anymore. It's the a whole community that get hurt. So what I was going to talk about before, like when I was asking, like, do you notice anything different? So this is an magic powder. Yeah, it's an magic powder. It's a setting loose powder. Like how you definition setting loose powder. And it's magic. It's number two in banana. So it's what I use to kind of like cover my blemishes and all this dark spot that I have before I started this video. Because I was like, you know, should I do... And make a full makeup but now i was like you know i don't think i need a full makeup because i want i only want to talk about this and so i use the magic and you know i guess from a camera kind of point it's relaxed it hides the spot a little bit because i do have a lot of spots like i'm not even kidding it's all over my hair and here like my neck and shoulders and chest so and I'm, and so this setting powder actually kind of like if I'm not doing like all those high definition or like not going out or something, then I would use like a full makeup to, to makeup. But if I'm only just like maybe just going outside, it's like powder like this. So that's the only difference that I use. And you know, the way that I use this lip gloss now. Because before I used to like apply everything on my lips, but now I just apply it like under my and then I Because I realized that if I use Everything and cover my entire lip then it becomes so dark that I don't like how it looks before I used to like it And then now I feel like maybe I'm using too much. And that's why it looks like but I like it how it looks like this. Like it just covers, doesn't overshadow you. It just make you feel odd. So that's what I want to say. And the main point: do not be a bystander. Stand up for. You know, I made this dress by myself. Like I and you know the future that I've always liked is this pocket. But because I want it like just right here. But then, but I I've always liked the pockets like. It's actually quite roomy too. I can put my phone there, like it's skin. But then, like, because of the nature of the thing, anyway, I mean, it fits, but because of the nature, like, it made it kind of weird looking. So, here. So, this is what it looks at the center, and like, I'd added the pieces. Like, I wish I can show you the full length. So this is what it looks like and you know I've made These are like pieces pieces that I join on the side. So I think that I have like about six pieces Yeah, it's a, there are pieces that I joined to the side This one is already open But yeah, I joined the pieces on like this and that's how I have all this and you know, I like it I like it like these are really pieces like I bought like geometry kind of pattern and I just cut them according to how like this had come like oval or teardrop or leaf like so you can imagine what it looks like so this is the so it's like top and a leaf like kind of base or bottom and I like it I mean like it's my handiwork so I like it like I was so proud when I was like you know it's not I didn't go the conventional way of like buying pattern and like cutting like I just found something that like the style was even like created by me like so this is all like creativity like talented up here like ah okay so um yes so that's my video for today thank you for watching
subscribe like and comment really really come on come on subscribe like and comment subscribe like and comment wait so subscribe like and comment because that would be awesome it's we are as again we are helping each other true you're learning you're seeing me i'm giving you all the information and you're keeping me company honestly i think the the, the best community is the company that we get to keep on this like social platforms and yeah even though some people can be quite mean in their response and comments but i'm sure they are still genuine and nice and awesome people out there that a lot of us need that we need each other we need one another actually to grow as human as human being as human race and yeah so don't be a bystander there are different kind of domestic abuses or domestic violence when people do come to you to help them if you are not in the position to help them do give them resources send them to like you know you, you honestly like in the community you can know people that you can trust and you can you know people that you can refer others to that you know if you because i you know i know that some people are like they're not gossip mongers but when this kind of thing that is happening especially if it's like a pastor or like something that people someone that people look up to like that then they now if you tell someone if you know that 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 mama or auntie that will just you know she will circulate everything that everyone will know so that the person if they're not brought accountable in terms of um like government or like um criminal or something like that they are, the community held them accountable because then now they they lost the respect people have for them like in the community they can tell themselves or like rationalize what they have done or what they think is going on for themselves but really they lost respect for like honestly the community usually do less lose respect for this kind but for these people that perpetrate like violence or that injure or abuse their powers usually people lose respect for them and and that's just the first step you know like some people even go as far as like maybe like you know some area boys or something like they will beat up someone's like you are we are messing up our women, you know, something like that. We are messing up something. We are going to teach you a lesson, you know, something like that. And and it goes on. So, like, some people are actually not gossip wonders, but then the way they handle the situation, like, they circulate the news. And once the news is, is circulated, you know the guy is done for the perpetrator is done for and also lastly but not the least the victim i mean how do you help someone who has who is broken down like you have to be consistent in how like you talk to them how you rationalize things with them till they see reason because honestly it it comes down to Oh yeah, they are the one that are, that can actually help themselves. You know, everyone's help who helps themselves. But also, even when we're saying that, to be be cautious and be like, oh, even if you say that, like maybe they need that second hand to help them, to help them see through what is going on. To help them know that what the other person is doing to them or to their children or vice versa or anything like that is wrong and it shouldn't be happening and like they are deserving of dignity of respect 
of a beautiful and loving marriage, not a struggling and enduring marriage. And they might be breadwinners, but they are deserving to be taking care of themselves as they are making their income and not spending it on the other. Like if the if the love or if the responsibility is not reciprocated respectfully or if the responsibility is not matching up respectfully then so yeah they said it's the person that can that can really help themselves as much as we can say that but where is the love there yes the person can say that oh but i am in you can't dictate my life. You can't do how how I live my life. I'm going to stay do this like that. But to see to help them see reason. But you know, honestly, I think deep down they see the reason. Maybe it's like you know Stockholm syndrome. Where do I start from again? And all this kind of all that stuff. I'm pretty sure the people have gone through a um, through so much and. You know, you can always start over. You don't have to be in a situation that makes you feel like you are less human or you are not human at all. You're going to, just going to break you down over and over. And they're going to transfer this situation to people you care about, whether it's your family or your sister or, you know, this thing can translate to a lot. It can translate in a lot of different ways. To other people and if they're not if they're doing it to you they're probably doing it someone else maybe at their works outside neighborhood and and that is not it's not cool don't be a bystander don't be a bystander for yourself act now act right act responsibly i mean we can say like the government or not if the government helps out in this kind of situation maybe like this this wouldn't be happening or like people will be saved sooner than later but if we're not getting the government to say anything I mean, it's up to us it's really up to us and we can say so much and pray right so much so don't forget to share like comment and if someone gains something out of this that is beneficial and it's a chance to save someone. Because what is better than saving and being beneficial to the other person? And relieving, relieving them of pain and destitution and heartbreaks that they have been in. So that's my take. And salam alaikum to everyone. Ramadan is still going on. Share, like, comments. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,